were hiking across the lake. Good morning. Just left the Million Valley Resort VBR. Stayed there for, well, I came in uh, on one night and then stayed the next day at a zero, a much needed zero. But right now, we just took a ferry ride across uh, Lake Thomas Edison. Uh, it's very, very low. I'm starting a new section from VVR to Red's Meadow. I'm gonna be meeting Mike Lawrence uh, Marmalade. I'm gonna be meeting him at Red's Meadow. But again, my goal is to try to get to Red's Meadow uh, uh, eventually. And that'll be the end of my second uh, section on this section hike. And, but for today, I wanna try to get as far as I can. I wanna try to get over Silver Pass. Uh, 3,000 foot climb from here. So, let's get the hiking. Oh my goodness, straight up and keep on going and keep on going. One of the unique characteristics of the Sierra is the, not only the amount of water, but especially the steep climbs of all these passes, Selden Pass, Silver Pass, Kearsarge Pass, all the passes. It's just extremely brutal going uphill. Uh, left VVR this morning real early, um, about 8.45, and got on a boat ferry and went across Thomas Edison Lake. Uh, but we're stopped here at uh, Fish Creek, and you probably hear it. But uh, anyway, it'll be lulling us to sleep tonight, and so I'm looking forward to getting a good night's rest and then getting on the road back uh, getting back on the road again tomorrow. So I've already eaten uh, and uh, about to get some shut eye.
Well, out of camp and rolling down the trail. My goal is to get to Red's Meadow. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to it uh, today or not, but I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. Besides water everywhere here in the Sierras, uh, lakes and streams and rivers, creeks, uh, the other thing that the Sierras are known for are these passes. Uh, so far, I've done four passes uh, since starting at Bishop uh, Trailhead, but uh, uh, Bishop Pass, Muir Pass, Selden Pass, and then yesterday, Silver Pass. And oh my goodness, uh, 3,000 feet uh, climb yesterday. Breakfast time. On the menu is a thing called Green Belly. And uh, pretty good. PCT by Deer Lake. He was from Ireland. And he said uh, if you hold a shovel like this on a construction crew, uh, breastfeeding a shovel. Oh. Yeah. Wow, we got a big train, huh? Well, we stopped at Deer Creek. Uh, not really sure what the mileage uh, was, but uh, we got a lot of mileage in today. Uh, and of course did a pass. But uh, anyway, I have already eaten, already set my tent up, and I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I don't know how you look this morning, but I look terrible. And I feel terrible. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to get this show on the road. I only got five, five and a half miles, I think, before we get into Red's Meadow. And so, there's nothing to it but to do it. Well, I'm out of camp and back on the trail, rolling along, and uh, only a few miles to get to Red's Meadow. The great thing about this uh, section that's uh, from where I camped last night till Red's Meadow is it's all downhill. These climbs have just been absolute killers. Uh, not so much uh, because they're, you know, 11,000, 12,000 feet, but because uh, of the climbs, uh, you know, 3,000 feet uh, elevation climb that's that's a lot of uh, elevation uh, difference and so uh, I've had to take it real slow so I've not been getting in the mileage uh, that I've normally got and it's kind of hard to get used to I was in a lot better shape uh, in 2020 when I did the PCT than I am now 
uh, you know, two years ago in a heart attack, that'll definitely uh, make a difference. <laughs>